Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8. Alright, so what the heck were we doing? Oh yeah, the asteroid. We have to put the asteroid into orbit around Duna. Well, we could get nuclear propulsion. I guess that would help with the whole pushing asteroids around. So now we need a thing with a claw and with drills that will claw onto the asteroid. Oh, we can't do drills yet because... Right. Okay, because um, we haven't unlocked that technology because it's way up there. We can't do this mission yet. Okay, fine. Different mission. We are going to... Make this new orbital station around Duna that can support 16 Kerbals, have three pilots of viewing cupola and 6,000 units of liquid fuel on. And that will require a nuclear engine because, of course, if they're gonna require 6,000 units of liquid fuel, I'm not gonna send liquid fuel and oxidizer. Okay, we'll keep the core. Well, we tried to uh, send a uh, Drez mission out, but that unfortunately lost communicate. Wait, is that a Kerbal? Or not? Okay, hold on, it's got me worried. <laughs> that should be a probe. Oh god, it's a Kerbal. Why has this Kerbal been hanging out for five years? Guys, why did nobody remind me about this Kerbal that was supposed to go to Drez? What's the mod propellant for? I'm so confused. This Kerbal was supposed to capture on Drez five years ago. Oh yeah, well, if I was running life support, I'd have Kerbal Alarm Clock. Four years? Well, it says I've got an encounter there. Okay, everything seems to be doing inclination there. Alright, let's say we do this. It doesn't seem like it takes much to capture. That makes sense because we'll be very close to its own orbit. So we should be fine on this fuel still. That's good. Alright, let's let's just do this now before I forget. We had to send a Kerbal because we didn't have the communications to send a probe. <laughs> We missed capturing around Drez is what we missed. This was probably the capture burn. There's the... Something. Something's going on. In oh right, right, we were supposed to deploy a probe. Right, because this is a test of... It has to be an unmanned probe that uh, has an antenna and can generate power, but I didn't know if we could deploy it. with the Kerbal deploying it. I mean, it'll be unmanned once it gets there, but does it count? That's the question, I don't know. Well, I'm not trying to rescue him, I'm trying again to do what he was supposed to do in the first place. But yeah, we totally forgot about him. I have no idea what we were doing last time, that we forgot about this mission, but... But let's face it, missions to Drez are pretty much forgettable anyway. Get some Drez- well, only in five years, that's too late. Can't be waiting five years for science. Not when Minmus is sitting right there. I'll take that for now. Honestly, I'm feeling like doing planes today, but... Probably should get some mission done first. So, we're trying to do... The Duna Station mission. I don't even know if we have three pilots in the first place. We have two. Well, this Jeb. We'll have to actually send all of our pilots. It says... Build a new station with all that. 16 Kerbals, three pilots on the station. 
So I'm gonna have the pause in the pod. Hopefully we can like escape if necessary. That's why I'm doing it this way. And then room for 16 Kerbals besides. Okay, what's the actual Delta V? That should be enough to get back from from Duna on its own. Okay, so we need room for 16 Kerbals. It's 3, 12, and then another one, so that's 16. Well, these are... I don't think we have a larger liquid fuel tank, do we? That only has liquid fuel? Oh, I guess we have that one. It'll be a little bit awkward, but alright. I used to be able to fit these together somehow. Minimal clippage. How much delta V is that? 4,643. Uh, that's not gonna be enough to satisfy the contract. They want... How much? 6,000 units of liquid fuel. This is... 3,200 plus... 2 tanks, uh... 800... Uh, so, that's, four th that's a package of 4,000. So, we basically need another one minimum. 7,000 meters per second, but what's the burn time? Uh, oh, well, it's not bad bad. <laughs> it's only more than an hour and a half. Well, no, it's not more than an hour and a half. It's just less than an hour and a half. We need bigger nuclear engines. Do I have to use two of these? Or should I supplement with nuclear fuel and oxidizer somehow? Or not even two, we'd have to use more than two. They're really expensive. I'm gonna put a controller on here. Because I think this deserves future plans. This is why I put the docking port. We're gonna have to make it a robust tuggy sort of thing if we're gonna send it at all. Alright, we should do a lot of auto strutting right now. And we'll actually put real struts too. I haven't even unlocked struts yet until this point. Can you imagine? This is unbelievable. Unheard of in Kerbal history to wait this long to unlock struts. Auto strutting really spoils us. Strategy to auto strutting. Well, thing on the bottom gets strutted to the root part. Root part at the top gets strutted to the heaviest part, which is usually close to the bottom. And then things on the side, like these that are sort of suspicious, get strutted to the grandparent part, which is usually something in the center. That's about it. I guess we can unlock- I mean, I guess we can lock the fuel we are meant to reserve and see what happens. Really, we have to basically lock all of that. <laughs> I mean, uh, technically the return fuel will also count, this 360. Maybe we should put a little booster pack underneath this, too. I'd like enough to use this to transfer over. Wolfhound or Skipper? It's a three minute burn. Yes, yeah. How about an enormous cluster of cheetahs? Let's see. Skipper? It's going the wrong way. 604 with this. Cluster of cheetahs. Ooh, that's not very good at all. Oh wait, I put it in the wrong place. 662. Is 662 with uh, 1 minute and 51 second burn time?
is uh, less delta V, but shorter burn time. We don't have the Wolfhound, so I'm skeptical of it anyway. So I think, uh, and this is cheaper with the cheetahs. Cheaper cheetahs. We had bigger tanks. That's enough to transfer. But that's not enough to get us to orbit. Okay, um, let me redo this a little bit. We can attach these down here instead. Yeah, they're gonna clip in there. Um... Oh no, these are the bigger tanks. Gosh darn it. I mean, how many cheetahs can we get for a single skipper anyway? Let me just quickly calculate. It's almost like that RL-10 stage yet on the Saturn 1. This is just symbolizing the structure I was looking for, but couldn't get. It's uh, aspirational strutting. We're gonna need all sorts of Separatrons. Okay, so this can lift it up. Can it? Yeah, it can. This will have to complete orbit due to transfer. The nuke is gonna capture around Duna. And we might have to send a supplementary mission to give it more fuel. And that will dock on the side docking port that we have here. We haven't even unlocked Separatrons yet. This is our first Unlocking of both struts and separatrons. Unbelievable. We are required to put all of our pilots in. Oh, I guess not all of our pilots need to go. We can save Valentina. We, we have to send Rich Hat and Tezzer, though. Yeah. Air brake? Well, well, parachutes not gotta be any good if, to recover them. And the, we can't turn back to it, so... Boosters, I mean. Okay. Bottle up. SAS is on. NASA flag. Sort of ironic in the background. This is totally something NASA would do. Okay, and. Launch. I guess the nuclear react does the nuclear reactor properly supply electric charge when without any sort of uh... oh yeah I still didn't put a reaction wheel that's true I mean of course we still have the pod reaction wheel and the probe core reaction wheel but other than that oh nerve does not produce EC when not burning well well then good thing I put the uh, solar panels I mean. It should, of course. I mean, there's no good reason for it not to produce electric charge. We spared no expense on this. And that's the truth. Okay, good, very good. Ooh, really close, but alright. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I don't think those were very recoverable boosters. What realism? Realism? What realism? What do you mean, be careful of the amount of realism you want from a game? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Nerve doesn't gimbal. Well, that's great. We may have to straight up put an additional... Um, RCS module on this if we want to use it properly then. Okay. Well, I decided... I had uh, for a while not had Twitch Prime. Not Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime. Well, both. But I decided to get it in time for the Expanse, darn it. I want them to know that I'm specifically getting Amazon Prime for the Expanse. So they're clear that that's, uh, that's what I want from them. Well, I mean, the more people express that they should continue supporting the Expanse beyond this season. I'm sure that will make a difference. I mean, they have very complex analytics 
paying very close attention to why you're throwing money at them, so... Not too sure why you think they're not caring why you throw money at them. That's practically their only job. And they have much computing power dedicated to that purpose. Okay, uh, 24. If I keep burning, does it get closer? Yeah. Okay, so that'll be our correction. Um, the only thing we have to worry about, as far as I know, the, unless I lost track of something else, is the Drez mission. Are we a three-dimensional hologram in four-dimensional space, or a two-dimensional hologram in three-dimensional space? Are you saying I lack depth? We experience time. No, that's not the D we're talking about. That was a given. Time's sort of a negative space. They're related. It's one fabric. But it's definitely not... ...the same thing. Basically, the faster you're going in space, the slower you're going in time. The faster you're going in time, the slower you're going in space. We're going full up, full speed ahead in in time, and we're going rather slowly with respect to each other in space. And if you go faster with respect to something in space, you'll go slower with respect to that in time. So the three spatial dimensions are all one, one, one in the matrix, and then on the time one, it's a negative one. Why is the nuke not seeing the fuel here? The engine plate should have cross-feeding, right? I'm worried now. It is directly linked to... I mean, through the monopropellant thing, it's directly linked to a tank. Well, I've unlocked all the fuel that it's meant to use. In fact, more than it's meant to use. Hmm. Very concerning. It had a burn time once upon a time, right? Now it says five seconds burn time. I probably should have sent uh, another, like, refueler mission on this go-around anyway. I'm really very luxurious about my time in stock. Oh, it's not bringing our peri- oh, no, it's bringing our peri ups us down. Not too bad, though. Okay, what's the fate that awaits us with this nuke? Have I forgotten something fundamental here? Gimbling anyway, so there's no risk if I just activate it like this. Um, well, it's providing thrust. It just doesn't want to show me the Delta V on it. Huh. It says I could start the burn time in 10 minutes. I... I'm suspicious of it since it's not showing me the Delta V, so... Yeah, I think it was wrong about when to start the burn. I think it was still thinking about the stage that we dropped off or something. Well, we've got all the things. We just need to put it into orbit. And it looks like we might... Oh, uh... This maneuver is bogus. We'll see about how the liquid fuel holds up. So far, I mean, I think we'll have the 6,000. Okay, we have captured. I'm trying to keep the periapsis from going too far down. We should be safely within the orbit of Ike, so Ike won't uh, mess around with us. But hey, while we're here, we might as well get into a nice tight orbit. Or as tight as the periapsis will allow us, since we're so far away from it now. Why? 
Back in the old days, <laughs> we eyeballed it all the time. Okay. Yeah, well, this will be fine. Uh, let's just get the con the contracts fulfilled. So we got that. How much was it? Uh, 675,000. Okay, well, they'll have to wait to come back. We'll keep everything together for now. Yep. So... Mission fulfilled. Corbin asked to be 75 degrees behind Duna for them to come back. We're gonna have a Drez mission. I wonder if I could plot the... Well, there's no point. Shall we just get them back or maybe I should do planes? I'll... Uh, you know, I need a stretch. I'm gonna give you guys a choice. Either we do planes or we bring them back first and then do planes. So... Wow. There's a whole lot more votes for bring the Kerbal back so you don't forget them than I thought there would be. <laughs> okay, fine. You guys actually care about these Kerbals. Alright. I mean, I guess we need pil- we have one pilot left. Uh, we have Valentina to do the planes, but um, alright. Fine, we'll bring him back. Let's go to the tracking station. Uh, that's about 75 degrees, I think. Alright. Eyeballing it. Okay, that's the separation we want. Um, we sort of want that antenna extended before we separate. I hope the separation does not kill the antenna. But I don't think... Um, I don't think that has a collider on that part. We'll see. Usually... No, it depends. Okay, we ready to go? I think so. Guess it's a good thing I didn't decide to put a docking port in there. Okay, we have plenty of Delta V to get back. Let me just activate the engine like this, I'll feel safer about it. Okay. Mission, uh, we were uh, delivering a station with 6,000 liquid fuel to orbit of Duna. They also required room for 16 Kerbals and three pilots on board. We're bringing back the three pilots that were on board. Uh, unfortunately, we're burning out from the map waps aside, but it's not going to cost too much. It doesn't really matter if we're equatorial or not. Okay, that'll be fine. Oh, let's make sure that the mission has communication. Yeah, communication, right. Good. Eventually, we'll just be, I guess, leaving behind this Kerbal storage area. Which will be uncontrollable. Maybe I should have done something a little bit better with that. But maybe we'll dock something on the side of it first. <laughs> yeah. We ended up forgetting a mission that was bound for Drez, and now it has to try and get back to Drez. It failed to capture on Drez. Tanker of fuel. A lucrative tanker of fuel, though. We're t gonna be testing the boundaries of time in this, in this save. By the time we get to Jewel, it'll be year 300 or something. Because I keep doing these one missions and just going through them. Which is sort of enjoyable and a big change from the hectic uh, curb alarm clock business. It's nice just to follow through with a mission. Where's Kerbin? Oh, there it is. Gotta keep an eye on it so it doesn't sneak up on us. Okay. Well, let's use some of the fuel to slow down, just for the heck of it. Let's 
since we've got the fuel. I guess we might be splashing down close to the KSC over here. Oh, there's the KSC right there. Well, I don't know if I... But then NASA doesn't really lose reputation if asteroids hit, though. But I don't know if that's realistic. And all these asteroids that we track are so small, they wouldn't do any damage to the planet. No, no. This does not have extinction-sized rocks, no. I mean, you're talking about kilometer size, you know, their masses will have many, many digits, trillions of tons. So. Okay, and recover. And we have our pilots back. 